Next up, it's time for another quick quiz on the stuff we've just talked about. Variables, let, const, var, how they work, just the basic syntax. So I'm going to show you three examples, and I'd like you to mentally evaluate them, answer the question, and then I'll come back with the answers. So here's the first one. What is the value of egg count once this code runs? Pause if you need to. Here's the next one. What is the value of rating after this code runs? And the final one, what's the value of wind speed here? And then there's a second note. What is the minor issue with this code? So two questions. What's the value of wind speed at the end? And what's the minor issue with the code? Okay, so let's start with the first one. What is the value of egg count? Well, it's initialized to 42. And then on the second line, we are referencing egg count and adding two to the value, but that doesn't change egg count. We're not resetting or updating egg count in any way. We're just asking for 42 and adding two to it, and then that's it. We're not saving it anywhere to egg count, so egg count is still 42 at the end of this. The next one, what is the value of rating after this code runs? This one's a little trickier because we're using const, so rating is set to 7.5, and remember, that means that rating will not and cannot change. So if we tested it out, let's do const rating equals 7.5, uh, 7.6, it doesn't matter, and then rating equals 8 now. Ah, we get an error. Assignment to constant variable. So we do get an error, but the question was, what is the value of rating? It's still 7.6. We can't change it. So that's the answer to that one. And now the final one, what's the value of wind speed after these three lines run? So the first one initializes wind speed with a value of 76. Then we use plus equals to add five to the value. So that takes us up to 81. And then we use the unary operator, minus minus, which subtracts one from wind speed and saves it to wind speed. So we go from 81 down to 80. So wind speed is 80. And then the last part, what's the minor issue with this code? The issue here is really a stylistic issue. Uh, it doesn't follow JavaScript programming conventions as far as the style. Variable names are supposed to be camel cased, not snake cased, which is what we have here with the underscores. So ideally this would be named wind speed like this. Wind speed, camel cased, first letter, lower cased. It doesn't break anything to do it this way with the underscores. Well, it breaks the hearts of JavaScript developers around the globe, but it is valid code. And that's it. Nice little short quiz.